today I would like to um, discuss about uh, our uh, our topic about um, how how we adopt the AI technologies on our um, uh, security and against the evolving endpoint uh, side attack. So um, this is the first slide. Um, this is a a spread landscape over the last two uh, decades. I think uh, a lot of names you know, for for example, the first one, um, Melissa, Cobret, Lambda, Shu, Convica, a lot of famous names, you name it. So back to last year, I think the biggest virus in the world will be COVID-19. It brings up a lot of awareness in the market, and that's why today I'm going to walk through some um, information and solution for you. So um, ransomware is a very high growth factor in the market. So um, back to um, last year, uh, the figure average uh, weekly, uh, there is a 14k ransomware incident, but now it's go up 10 times. So uh, ransomware is a very big topic, and I will try to give you some um, insight and how can you defend it with a multi-dimensional um, security defense. So um, back to uh, nowadays, the average ransom demand up will be 1.2 million and 68% of organizations were compromised by ransomware. Okay, a lot of incidents. The first one, um, Asa hit uh, with second uh, um, cyber attack with less than a week, and then Kasaya and some still they attack with uh, 1,000 pieces with ransomware. Colonial Thailand is the one very big one because they pay the ransomware this year. And we have a dairy farm on the Hong Kong, and they are also hit by a ransomware book call uh, with them. So the things go very well. But what is the difference? Nowadays, uh, the difference we found this year will be extortion. The ransomware is revolution. So the first thing is they have a single distortion before. Distortion, extortion it means, single extortion it means it uh, encrypt your data and ask you for ransom. So this is a single extortion. So how about double extortion? Double extortion is they encrypt your data and they they, 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 if you refuse to pay it, they will leak your data out. So they not only encrypt it, they take out the data and ransom you twice. So how about n times extortion? It means that they encrypt your data, they steal it, and also if you refuse to pay the ransom, they will ask the ransom from your company, your family, your friends. A lot of information, for example, you have your uh, family information, your company information. So a lot of uh, reputation hits, uh, loss will be uh, will cost from you or your company. So next, I know a lot of news. You read through the news, I know it very well. But how about how to protect it? So back to the uh, basic, we have to close the security gap to stop the ransomware. Let me bring up a. Uh, breaking the uh, cyber uh, queue chain here. So the queue chain here will be, we have six steps for a hacker to start from reconnaissance and uh, finish their job. Their job done, there is a five, uh, there is six steps. So the first one will be reconnaissance. They learn something from your network. They try to explore what is the variable assets of your network. They deliver something to the assets start from the user click and attack so the attack begins and then they hunt for sensitive data sent to a command and control center maybe some data encryption there and then they move to some lateral movement so they found another target this is the whole step, six step of all the attacks not only ransomware, every attack they will have a six step so you have to stop it from this six step in order to break the chain. So uh, it, I try to separate the chain into three major steps. The first thing, you, need, you have to try to prevent the breach at very early stage. Second, stop at the end point. So 
better to be proactive. Today we are innovative, we are innovator. So try to prevent the fish at very early stage. Second, if we cannot prevent before, we have to stop at the end point. And then the last one is business impact analysis and response. So anyway, uh, let me, uh, actually I have a multi-dimension defense system for you. The first one will be the end point. So uh, we start, the end point is the last mile. I usually give you a, um, a um, referral just like this. The end point is, is just like a bodyguard at your door. So it's helped you to defend the last mile. So all the robbers come to that part. If you can't stop it, you will, you will be attacked and the, the, the outcome will be very severe. How, however, we have to do something proactive. So I would suggest a further uh, proactive step will be a deception. So cyber deception, just like the honeypot. So we put the honeypot in your network. It's just like a bodyguard or it's a security guard patrolling in your building. So any hackers that come to the environment, maybe they will catch some honeypot and be cut. So the last step will be the VSA. I will say it is a virtual security analyst. Just like a security guard sitting in a CCTV room, they are monitoring the people who come in and who come next, and what they are doing bad, they will catch them. So this is um, the three steps that uh, I think it is very important to your network. So uh, it comes up to a very integrated approach. So every solution should be integrated and they are automated. Okay, let's talk about the bodyguard at your door, which is the media. So um, this is some graph and we saw that are captured from the system. For example, uh, when they detect the data recovery, uh, um, they encrypt the data, steal potential information, or they are attempting to touch some CNC in the network, you will know it and you will block it. This is very basic. But you have to be reminded this must be AI based. So no more signature based endpoint in your network. AI will be very important. That's why we are coming today to hear some new things. So this EDR must be AI based. Second, go back to the security guard patrolling in your building. So we build some um, honeypot in the network, in the environment, but please be reminded, it should be customizable. What I mean is, for example, today, you are a hospital. If I put some cat file in the shared folder, do you think it is sense? Of course not. So if you is working in a, for a hospital, I believe you should put some medical information, some report there. So if you are a manufacturer, you have to put some um, 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 data, a system, some OT things. So it must be relevant to your market, relevant to your industry. So um, when it is detected, uh, we will show you some discovery. Someone will connect to your network. We will show what they are doing. If they are encrypting a file, they are encrypting a fake file. And the information will come back to our EDR, the bodyguard at your door. So, the third one will be the virtual security analyst. This is the CCTV ROM for the SOC ROM. So, this is the information there. Um, they not only detect the file, but they give you a reason why and where is the file coming from. So, for example, ransomware, you know that what they are looking for. So, uh, any variance or anything similar to your network that has been found before, and also what have been done. For example, a quick file, steal data, doing some backdoor. This is the, the things you want to know. No, not only blocking it, but you know the reason and the, the outcome that it makes to your network. So last one will be a forensic and then incident response. You know it and respond automatically. For example, you found a virus, you find a ransomware, get it back to the bodyguard at the door, close the door, and shut it down, catch the virus, for example. So everything is an automated process. It will come with the IOC hunting part, 
So it is the whole process that I would suggest you to consider. So this is a 14 net multi um, dimension defense and set of framework. We start from the very beginning the network layer uh, with the 40K and then the application, your mail, your web, and then in the middle will be very important AI powered threat protection. So sandbox, isolator, deceptor, 40 AI. What I name is virtual security analyst, VSA. And then EDR for the client to make it a total solution and it is integrated. So um, I have named a lot of attacks. You know in the market, how can you prevent you will be the next victim? When a some big um, event comes out, we will have some outbreak alert from our body guard. Body guard is a AI platform in the market. Every day we are looking um, 100 billion events and make up a very big data and then keep up result here. So um, all the big incidents will have a um, information can be come out in our body guard. You can go to our, web, our website and look at that. And this information will go to our VSA and benefit to the whole framework. So this is, for example, some uh, dark siren somewhere, a lot of details. A whole story how it came to the network, how to prevent it, very detailed information there. Okay, this is my last slide. So uh, very key takeaway today. Ransomware is still powering the network with digital world. So our secure graphics is helping you differentiate from the other uh, solution by the multi-dimensional defense framework. So very important, we have three things. So um, we solve the skill shortage. Your your team or your um, IT guy do not need to be very experienced because I have the tools good for them. Next one, Fortier can be your virtual security analyst. So we build the report, we build the incident uh, set up team for you. The last one, AI-based investigation, automate, uh, automation response with confidence and faster. So uh, remember this three points, it will be very important for you. Thank you very much.